we want to evaluate the given definite integral using a geometric formula. So if a given function f of x is continuous and non-negative on a closed interval from a to b, then the area under that function and above the x-axis is equal to the definite integral of f of x from a to b. So looking at our definite integral, the first thing we should recognize is that the closed interval would be from zero to six given by the limits of integration and that our function f of x is equal to the absolute value of the quantity x minus four. Let's go and just call our function y equals the absolute value of x minus four. So the next thing to notice is that the function value will always be non-negative and therefore this means if we graph this function on this closed interval and then find the area below the function and above the x-axis, it will equal this definite integral. So let's focus on graphing this absolute value function. We should recognize this will make a v-shaped graph and the v will open up. Let's start by determining the function values at x equals zero and x equals six. So if x equals zero, notice how we would have y equals the absolute value of zero minus four. The absolute value of negative four is positive four. So our function contains the point zero four here. Next, when x equals six, we would have y equals the absolute value of six minus four, and the absolute value of two is two. So our function also contains the point six two, which is here. But probably the most important point we need to find is where the graph turns or changes direction. And this will occur where the quantity x minus four is equal to zero, or at the x-intercept. Notice if we set x equal to four, we would have y equals the absolute value of four minus four, which is the absolute value of zero or zero. So this graph is gonna change directions at this point, or this will be the tip of the v. So the point four zero would be here on the x-axis, and therefore the graph of the absolute value function moves up in this direction, and then moves up in this direction. But remember, our goal is only to find the area under the function and above the x-axis on the interval from zero to six. So we're gonna start here and stop here. So if we shade the area under the function on this interval, it would look like this. And because these two areas are triangles, if we find the sum of these two areas, it will be equal to the given definite integral. So let's go ahead and call this area sub one and call this area sub two. And because these are triangles, we can use the area formula. Area equals one half base times height, or if we want, base times height divided by two. Notice how this first triangle has a base of four and also a height of four. And the second triangle has a base of two and a height of two. So now we know that the integral of the absolute value of x minus four on the interval from zero to six will be equal to area sub one plus area sub two. So area sub one is gonna be equal to base times height divided by two, or four times four divided by two. It'll be 16 divided by two, or eight. And area sub two is equal to two times two divided by two. Four divided by two is two. So the definite integral is equal to eight plus two, which is equal to 10. I hope you found this explanation helpful.